remember hearing you play, and we were both playing at the same time when we were boys, where you could become involved and explore the subject. You kept exploring and exploring, and all I kept hearing was the excitement or wanting the success, uh, shall we say, preceding the years of involvement, of exploring, and all this. Uh -huh. And I think this, again, is true of so many people in regards to what field, again, uh, the young business executive, the young man uh, going into medicine or law, whatever it might be, where uh, all they see is the end result rather than seeing the, the intrinsic value of that field and what it can offer them as he becomes more and more involved in that particular subject. I know and exactly what you mean. I think the, the problem is that a person, I see this in a lot of people that come to me, uh, for instance, for advice or should they go ahead and so on. Mm -hmm that they tend to approximate uh, the product mm -hmm. rather than attacking it in a realistic, true way at any elementary level, mm -hmm. regardless of how elementary, but it must be entirely true and entirely real and entirely mm -hmm. accurate. Mm -hmm. They would rather approximate the entire but, problem right. than to take a small part of it and be real and true about it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think <clears> this is a very important thing, that, that you must uh, be satisfied to be very clear and very real and to be very analytical at any level mm -hmm. you can't take the whole thing and to approximate the whole thing in a vague way gives one a feeling that they probably they more or less touch the thing but in mm -hmm. this way you just lead yourself toward confusion right. you know and ultimately you're going to get so confused that you'll never find your way out but it is true of any subject that the person that succeeds in anything has the realistic viewpoint at the beginning and knowing that the uh, the problem is large and that he has to take it a step at a time and he has to enjoy the step-by-step -step learning procedure like uh, say we take we take a song uh, maybe I'll use this song throughout as, as an example and treat it in different ways but uh, we all know this song I like New York in June how about you say a person who wants to learn to improvise on this framework and uh, they have heard uh, the top flight uh, pianist uh, handle this thing so they, they hear them play it something like this for instance maybe an approximation of that and rather than be satisfied with saying I'll work simply with the framework and honestly and really and say play something simple like approximate the other thing but in a vague way something like maybe they're trying to do the thing in, in, a, in a way which is so general that uh, they can't possibly uh, build on that if they build on that they're building on top of confusion and vagueness and they can't possibly progress I so, have to protect uh, myself here yeah because uh, you're hitting home yeah. this is my worst fault is overplaying but on the other hand uh, to thousands of uh, musicians, such as myself, we have to overplay, I think, because we don't have time to even, uh, uh, even time to get to the keyboard to, to sustain our, the rudimentary thing. But yeah. the thing is, uh, it, the point is, what are you satisfied with? In other words, it's better to do something simple, which is real, and, uh, and it doesn't have to be, uh, it can still be satisfactory, but, it, but it, it's something you can build on because you know what you're doing. but it's all within the, the absolute framework of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you try to approximate something which is very advanced and don't know what you're doing, mm -hmm. then you can't advance, uh, you know, build on it. That's, that's the only point I'm making, really. But again, I, I don't think you can just eliminate it because we find a certain uh, excitement about this. You know, it's an enjoyment. It's a certain kind of yeah. enjoyment. And I wouldn't stop playing. Oh, I, could, I think you could, yeah, right. You could be too cautious. You yeah. can be cautious to the point where you never discover anything. I think right. you have to have a certain adventurous right. spirit. But uh, let's say over a long period of time, you have to be aware of what is really accurate and what is not. 
Right. And yeah. when you're adventurous, you have to know when you succeed and when you don't succeed. succeed. That's all. Right. You know? Yeah.